Cool. Hey, I'm Scott. I work at Red Hat. Does anybody know this guy? Stretch back in your history classes and your microbiology. This is Louis Pasteur. So he helped us discover beer, cheese, all that good stuff. What was he doing in the 1860s? He was studying microbiology, mold. He was basically the founder of disease science. Found a couple of vaccines like rabies, anthrax, some other cool stuff. Who's this guy? This is 60 years later, and this guy, Andrew Fleming, basically Alex Fleming decides, hey, I'm gonna go start with penicillin, and he figures out the penicillin mold. 1920s, I think it was 1924, penicillin. So that's like a 60 year gap between these two guys. Has anybody ever had a sick child? Have you ever had a, a, a cold, a flu, anything where you needed a antibiotic? You can thank those guys. They set the groundwork for the mass scale of antibiotics across the globe. But it took 80 years. So I think there's two angles here. There's really two angles. One is, why did it take so long for all that to happen? Why was nobody sharing their code? Why was nobody working together with AI models and, and plastering that stuff across the globe? They didn't have it. They didn't have fax machines. We, we weren't there yet. But it means another thing, too. It basically says, hey, what if everybody had access to the GPUs instead of just three guys hanging out with it right now? What if everybody had access to AI? That's what we're about. We want to take open cluster management and help you schedule workloads effectively across AI-enabled compute. In our project, there exists an API called Placement. Its exact goal in life is to help you place workloads to the appropriate cluster. Who has a workload placement problem? Please raise your hand. Where are you going to put the workload? Where are the GPUs? Where are the TPUs? Where are the CPUs? But yet, we've made it even better. Did you know you could schedule AI workloads and take advantage of a placement prioritizer to schedule the workload on the appropriate cluster where the capacity is available to you? I think this is a key. This is a key to unlocking AI for small research facilities, for a research scientists in Peru in the mountains studying some microorganism, for educators, for researchers, for mom and dads in their kitchen. When I asked Olama, hey, what are some things, like some tips I need to do for my lightning talk coming up? It said talk fast. But I need everybody to have access to this, right? I want to democratize the access to AI and make it possible to schedule things in the small bits. So the placement prioritizer works with Q, works with multi-Q to help you dynamically run your AI ML jobs based on clusters with the available GPU. We can improve the density of job scheduling across your provider, across your on-premise or cloud estate. This is obviously an open hybrid cloud world that we live in. And we can reduce the fragmentation of your workload across your fleet. This is actually not a picture of my family in the kitchen in the morning. Uh, I think this is actually a picture of Q and the OCM fleet working together. If you have questions about this, which I hope you do, please come join us at the booth. I'll be there Thursday morning. Huge shout out to Shazen, Jingkao, and Mike Ng. You guys are awesome, uh, working hard in the community to push all these topics along. Uh, there's a little layout for you. And yeah, come check us out online. Plenty of resources to, to take in tonight with your kids as you drink a ice cold beer thanks to Louis Pasteur. Thank you.